Well, I'm certainly much more optimistic about the Obama administration than I was about uh, the previous one. Um, but I think, uh, particularly on the international front, uh, there isn't the recognition that uh, something quite substantial has to be done to keep the, the global economy together. Mm. You've made no secrets of your views regarding a solution specifically for the banks, the bad bank um, to, uh, to mop up toxic assets. It looks very much like this is the way uh, that Obama uh, has to go now. Once that is implemented, is not the problem that we can't really go back? That's the problem that once you commit to one course, you, you, it's very bad if you have to shift. Now, you see, I think you'd, you would now need a good bank, bad bank solution. But I would do it differently than what is proposed because the, the proposal is to segregate the uh, bad assets and put it in the bad bank. And I would keep the capital of the banks together with the bad assets in a bad bank and then create a new bank with the uh, good assets of the bank and recapitalize that, giving the shareholders the right to put in more money. And if the rights are not exercised, then the, 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 the government could put in the additional money. But are, are you saying that this is no longer an option once they go down the bad bank route and commit themselves to that bad bank? It, it will be more difficult. I think if they'll, if in the end, probably come around to it. Because without it, uh, the, the banks will not uh, uh, lend because they know that there's a lot of deterioration still coming. And so they have to preserve the, the equity to the greatest possible extent unless they are somehow obliged uh, by government diktat uh, to lend, in which case it's, it's, it's a messier solution of government interference than if the government actually put in the money. And, and let the bank, b banks make the decisions. Shouldn't, shouldn't the banks, the heads of the banks, be here in Davos? After all, are they not part of a solution? Well, they, 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 they could be here, but they probably, uh, probably got other things to do, and they've got probably plenty of headaches uh, to deal with. And they probably don't, also don't want to be seen, uh, you know, uh, uh, jetting and mm. and mm. and. Mm. Uh, <laughs> How hopeful are you of fruitful discussion here in Davos? After all, we've talked of the key players in the U.S. administration. They're not here, and the banks aren't here. Mm -hmm. Well, look, uh, problems are never solved at Davos. They may be uh, uh, discussed, but they're never solved, solved here. Let's talk a little bit about the, the bigger picture. You've often spoken about market fundamentalism, that we have too much faith in market fundamentalism. I, I guess this latest series of events has, has, has proven that to you. Well, I think rather conclusively, uh, the, the generally prevailing interpretation of how markets work, the so-called efficient market hypothesis, has been shown to not to not to be valid by the fact that the system actually, literally broke down. Mm. So there's something, I mean, the, the, the salient fact uh, 